When you look around your home and immediate environment, you would notice that most of the objects that are strong, hard and heavy are made of metal. Also, most pieces of jewelry or objects that shine are made of metals. So, what are metals? How do we obtain metals? And what are the types of metals? Well, there are several properties that are considered before an element is considered as a metal. During the course of this lesson, and in subsequent ones, we will learn the properties that qualify a substance as a metal. Metals can be found naturally in underground deposits. They are mostly found in some special rock samples known as ores. An ore is a rock deposit that contains a significant amount of a metal that can be extracted from it. Ores can be found in large deposits under the Earth's crust in what is called a mine. And the process of extracting these ores from the Earth's crust is called mining. When the ores are mined, they are transported to factories where they are processed in order to extract the metals contained in them. Some examples of metals that can be found naturally in ores include zinc, aluminium, copper, silver, gold, iron, lead, and tin. Please note that there are a lot more metals out there. I've only mentioned a few. You can learn the name of some other metals from the periodic table, which you learned of in your basic science lessons. Now, here are some facts that you should know about metals. You see, all metals are solid at normal temperatures and pressures, with the exception of mercury, which is a liquid at room temperature. Also, aluminium and iron are the most abundant metals found naturally in the Earth's crust. However, note that not all metals are found naturally in ores. Some metals are formed by chemically combining two or more metals together, while others are formed by combining a metal with a non-metal. These types of metals that are formed from the combination of metals with other metals or non-metals are called alloys. We will learn more about alloys in a future lesson. For now, the major points that I want you to take out of this lesson include Metals can be found naturally in the Earth's crust as rock samples called ores. The process of extracting ores from the Earth's crust is called mining. Mercury is the only metal that is liquid at room temperature. Metals that are formed by the combination of metals with other metals or non-metals are called alloys. Goodbye.